Welcome back, Water Two fans. Today we will prove Jason Zimba's trig proof of a c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Jason Zimba. And before we do the proof, um, well, basically what we did to, to do was to prove the sum and difference angle formula. Uh, in particularly the uh, sine a minus b and the cosine a minus b. Those are used heavily by Jason Zimba. And we did that in my previous videos, so I'm not going to do it. But this is the setup that we used. Um, we also need to prove a, a slight lemma. Okay, and here's the, the lemma. Um, alpha equals... Alpha. Uh, at first glance, this is kind of an obvious statement, but it's a true statement. Alpha is equal to alpha. Then we embellish it a little bit and we say alpha equals beta minus beta minus alpha. This is also a true statement. It's really the same statement because beta cancels beta, the negative, and then the alpha negative here is canceled out by this negative sign, so it becomes a positive sign. So you're back to this. Now, why would we bother with such an obvious truth? I mean, you know, so what? Who cares? Well, that's exactly what Jason Zimba is using in his uh, famous proof. He takes the sine of alpha... Well, that's the same as the sine of beta minus beta minus alpha. That's a true statement. The requirement is that alpha and beta must be in units of angle, let's say, degrees. Okay. So, we are using the uh, sine difference angle formula in here, and that's... Kind of this formula right here, right? That's what we're using. Sine A minus B, sine A cosine B minus cosine A sine B. So what we do, this is the first part, beta is the first part, and then beta minus alpha is the second part. So we expand that, and so sine of beta, the first part, cosine of beta, beta minus alpha, that's the second part, minus cosine beta, the first part, sine of beta minus alpha, the second part. So we have these two. And now we take it further. This is another difference angle formula, a cosine difference angle and a sine difference angle formula. And so we expand these as follows. You got sine beta, and then this one is cosine beta minus alpha becomes cosine beta, the first part, cosine alpha, cosine, plus sine beta, first part, sine alpha. And that follows from our famous difference angle formula for cosine. And similarly for this minus cosine really so we put that here minus cosine beta and then here are the brackets and we expand sine beta minus alpha and that is sine of beta the first part cosine alpha minus cosine beta sine alpha and fortunately for us um, there's a cancellation that happens, and uh, typically it's, it's this one. Sine beta, cosine beta, cosine alpha. Sine beta, cosine beta, cosine alpha, with a negative sign. So this one cancels this one. That simplifies matters. And what we get is sine beta, sine beta, sine alpha. That's this part. And then you also get the minus... And a minus makes a plus, so that's cosine beta, cosine beta, sine alpha. All right. Now, factor out the sine alpha out of these two, 
and what you get is sine alpha is sine alpha times parentheses sine squared beta plus cosine squared beta. Well, the sine alpha, that cancels out to a 1 equals sine squared beta plus cosine squared beta, and that's called a Pythagorean trig identity. And you might say, well, it doesn't look like you know, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, but let me show you that it is because sine of beta is opposite over j over hypotenuse, a over c, so sine squared is a squared over c squared. Cosine beta is b over c, um, adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine squared is b squared over c squared. So our famous trig identity Sine squared plus cosine squared is a squared over c plus b squared over c. That whole thing equals 1. Now you cancel out the c squared on the numerator. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And that's the famous proof. Jason Zimba proof of the Pythagorean theorem. So, very nice proof. Um, it avoids any sort of circular reasoning because uh, in order to prove the sine and difference angle formulas, well, you don't need the Pythagorean theorem to, to do this. Um, just simple, simple trig. So we don't have circular reasoning, and uh, that's a good thing. So, okay. Thank you.